Hi, this is Tommy Stevens with K2 Enterprises, checking in with another in a series of technology-focused tips. Today's tip is going to be how you can manage your slicer filters in Power BI. Of course, if you're already working with Power BI, you're certainly aware of just how powerful slicer filters are. The ability for us to add a slicer and have it automatically filter everything on the report can be fantastic, no doubt about it. But there are certainly going to be instances where we do not want the slicer to filter all the tiles on a report or all the tiles on a single page of the report for that matter. Instead, we might want the slicer to filter only selected tiles. Uh, for example, maybe just the top four tiles you see stretched horizontally across the top of this report. Notice in the lower right hand corner of this report, by the way, I do have a slicer already set up that will filter out by state. Now, as I start to look at this particular slicer, let's suppose that we're going to filter to the state of Connecticut. Right now, that slicer, as you can tell, controls all six tiles on this particular report or dashboard if I pushed it up to the Power BI service. Maybe what my desire or what my reporting need happens to be in this case is that I want the slicer to control the four tiles across the top of the report but to not have any effect whatsoever on the two large tiles near the bottom of the report, the question is, how do we make that happen? Now the answer is, relax, it's pretty easy to do this. Let's start out by making sure that we have selected the slicer. You can see that the slicer is active, it is selected. And when the slicer is selected, then we are going to click on the Format tab of our Power BI ribbon, followed by Edit Interactions. Now the moment I clicked on Edit Interactions, you saw that two icons appeared in the upper right hand corner of each of the six tiles that are on this page of my Power BI report. These icons allow me to control which tiles the slicer affects and which tiles the slicer does not affect. In this case, I want the slicer to continue to affect the top four tiles so I don't have to make any changes to those whatsoever. Rather, on the bottom two tiles, I will click the icon on the right side, which as you can see now is labeled None. And I will do that for both of these tiles at the bottom, selecting the None option. And then to confirm and accept my changes, I will go back up to the Format tab and click on Edit Interactions again. Upon doing so, you see that those two icons that were on each of those tiles have now disappeared. And with the changes that we've just made to, these, uh, to how our slicer is going to interact with these six tiles, now if I go and click on Connecticut, see how the bottom two tiles remain static but the top two tiles, I'm sorry, the top four tiles have now filtered down to just those locations in the state of Connecticut. Obviously, slicers are great tools for filtering your Power BI based reports and, and dashboards quickly, easily, and quite frankly, very intuitively as well. However, you may not want your slicer to affect all the tiles on the page. In these cases, as you just learned, you can easily disconnect a slicer from a tile using Power BI's Edit Interactions feature. Thanks so much for stopping by. Please come back and join us again, and we'll look forward to serving you in the very near future.